Hello everyone, I am Bakul Band here and today we are going to take a look at how Nutanix era can solve one of the most prominent problems in database management with one click simplicity. Of course I am talking about database patching. In this screen I am logged in as a database administrator who has two Oracle databases up and running and being managed by era. Patching leverage is an existing construct in era known as software profile. If I click on one of these databases, I'll get to know what software profile is the database subscribed to and what version of the profile is the database using. If I want to know more details about the version of the profile, then I can simply click on the link and it will take me to the profile homepage. Here I can see what operating system comes with the profile version and what packages are installed in the OS. I can also get to know what database patches and what grid infrastructure patches are available in this profile version. Now let's start by creating a new version for this software profile which we will later use to patch one of the databases. To do that, I'll switch to a different window where I'm logged in as a database infrastructure administrator who has appropriate privileges to create a profile and is also tasked with maintaining and standardizing the software versions within an organization. To create a new version, I'll click on the profile to go to its home page. Here, as you can see, a version already exists with the October 2018 CPU. So this time we'll create a new version from the January 2019 CPU. Let's click on the create button and give a name for the new version. Oracle 12.1 Jan 2019 and select the database server that has the appropriate patches and click on create. This will trigger an operation which can be monitored from the operations page. It will take about five minutes for error to capture the software into the profile. So let's fast forward to the end. Well, as error usually does, it has once again exceeded expectations by finishing the operation in just four and a half minutes. So let's go back to the software profile homepage and take a look at the new version that it has created for us. Clicking on the database software tab, and looking at the patch list, it confirms that the January 2019 patch set update is indeed available in this version. Now for the databases to see this version available for patching, we need to publish it. To do that, click on the update button, change the status to published, and click on update once again. Now I will switch to the other window where I'm logged in as the database administrator and click on one of the databases. This time it shows me that an update is available for my database. Now to patch my database with this new version, all I have to do is just truly one click on this update button and it will trigger an operation for me that I can monitor from the operations page. This will take a few minutes to complete. And would you look at that, both my database and grid infrastructure patched in just 15 minutes. I think that deserves an applause from you wherever you are. Thank you. This patching feature will be available to all new and existing customers in the error release 1.1. In the first cut, you will be able to patch Oracle databases with support for other engines coming very soon. That's it from me on patching. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to erify your databases to enjoy all these cool new features.